is Friday. Yesterday, um, yesterday we went to hang out with Crispy before he went out of town. If you watch the podcast, you know I made a sports bet. Sport betting with Crispy Coil. Hey man, it takes money to make one. <laughs> Pelicans, the Suns. plus four in the Blazies. Making it official. My first like sports bet. Like a ref or the whistle. And it's a trifecta. We're gonna win. <laughs> a three team parlay. I fucking win, bro. I made a really good sports bet, seemingly. Here we are. But we lost. The fucking goddamn Trailblazers can't clutch. That point spread right there. So we lost. We would have won 280 bucks. Instead, we lost 40. Don't gamble, kids. Also got a pair of shoes in yesterday. This is coming a theme again of Adidas. They are here. I actually ended up getting another pair of Adidas yesterday too. I didn't tell you, Alex. I was hit up about a pair of shoes and it's gonna make me a hypocrite. We also got this chair. I guess I'll be putting that together today. Uh oh my. Huh. You're scary. My tattoo appointment had to reschedule. So I have the weekend open to draw, which I need to do, and paint, which I need to do. This is where we're at. That's it. That's the update. Going on. Going to make breakfast. Okay. Oh, it's all the way through. Look at that. Ooh. I haven't felt the squish of boost in so long. Like new squish. Ooh. Mm hmm. Hmm. These look pretty promising. These look pretty promising. What do you think, eh? Oh, those are cool. Actually, I like those. Ooh, I like the bottom. Those are Adidas? Yeah. Uh-oh. I don't know. What are you going to do? Are Although... Gonna, are we going to have a pair of Nike and a pair of Adidas in this house? It's a new era, baby. Oh 2020 ain't nothing, ain't nothing balanced, even though this would be balanced. Breakfast is served. Okay, the chair has been put together for quite a while. Uh, it's not comfortable to tattoo on a flat chair for hours, and this is more comfortable. Uh, I've just been drawing all day, really. It's been just a day of drawing. I made some food earlier. Alex is at the grocery store. You know, I uh, invested, no, I invested nothing. I looked at sports cars. I just wanted to learn about why the fuck sports cars are blowing up, so I like watched a few videos. I have a better understanding of it now. It's basically just another thing rooted in nostalgia and the fact that people who have kids now and want their kids to relive their childhoods. I don't know, it's crazy and it's profitable and it's nuts. I, I'm not gonna get into it, I just. I did have the idea and think it would be funny <laughs> to buy a box of cards and unbox everything because I don't really know who anybody is, you know? Like, I know who D. Lillard is because I just see in the tweets. My sports references in 2020 basically come strictly off Twitter. Maybe I'll do it, I don't know. I just feel like those cards have to be getting resealed. Like, especially cards from like the 90s, if you see an old ass box of cards, them shits have to be getting resealed, right? Like, there's gotta be super scammers out there. If there's cards in there that are worth an insane amount of money, I feel like people are gonna like rifle through them. Through them? I don't know. That's how I feel, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna make dinner, go to bed, get up early, ride the bike. It's 5.30 in the morning. We're out here riding and we got ourselves a nice flat tire. Don't really know if we hit something, what. I mean, obviously there's ceiling coming out all over here. Jesus Christ. Shout out to the MVP who was up at 5.40. She had to come get me. So we're gonna throw Audible, we're gonna take the dogs to the park. Starts the day, uh, but the tires fixed. We fixed it ourselves. Old tire. Ooh, I didn't realize how much shit we were leaking out on the floor. After a tutorial from Dirty Urn. Okay, 
I'm getting a tutorial from Dirty Earn. He doesn't ride it. He doesn't rent his bike in six days. First thing. Yeah. It'll take a minute. Jesus. I'm pretty sure we did it correctly. So that's good. A little bit before five on a Sunday. It's uh, eight. We're gonna try and go out and not blow this new tire up. Put it on myself. So I guess my confidence level is uh, not exactly 100%, but we'll see. See what happens. It's uh, hot as fuck this week. The house, I don't know what's going on with the AC. They never, it's 77 in here right now. It's also 90 fucking degrees outside right now. Yesterday the house got up to 90 degrees. So. Uh, I don't really know. Like, the AC just struggles when it gets really hot. Hopefully today's not brutal. I don't know. I have to paint today. So I'm gonna get this bike right in and get my ass home so I can paint. Don't eat the rind, fool. Eat the fruit. <laughs> Familiar times. It's, uh, you can't really see this, but it's, uh, 84 degrees. Put the snow on YouTube just to make it feel colder in here. Okay, cool off the room with the of mine. <laughs> you know, how funny is this that this is here? I said this is gonna happen. We have the fucking flyer hanging on the thing with a cartoon version of myself just staring back at me in the face. But anyway, it's uh, 74. It's like 6 a.m. Yesterday I didn't turn the camera back on because I was not in a pleasant mood. No, it's 74. So basically today, if it gets over 80, we're leaving. I'm done with the shit. Sick of being nice. My patience is gone. I can't work on the painting because it gets so hot in here. It's not bad right now. 74 is fine. But I'm telling you, if it gets over 80. Work on this as long as I can this morning. Yeah, it's Monday. Who knows what the week will bring. <sighs> this weekend was pretty brutal. Not, not the best time. Well. Sunday, really, mostly. Saturday at five, that's where it all started going downhill. Okay, so here I am in the car. Home Depot, portable air conditioner. I know what I said, I said we were leaving the house if it got over 80 some, but I've been fucking finally, finally got time to sit down and paint and then it got hot. So I don't wanna fucking just leave. It's such a pain in the ass to pack up the house and the dogs and all the shit and whatever else we gotta do. Order food out, not wake up with the bike. You know, it's like all kinds of shit that it's annoying as fuck. So I came to buy this portable AC, see if it works, and then just bill my landlord because this versus a hotel is, this is probably cheaper if it works. If it doesn't work, it's coming back. This shit sucks. I feel like I've been doing real good not complaining about the heat, but this one might do me in guys. This one might do me in. Oh, it's 85 degrees now. 85. It's going back. If it doesn't cool this shit off, it only cools 250 square feet, so I have pretty low expectations. We'll see. It's been a bitch. Today's been a bitch. I've been arguing with the old landlords because they're fucking hoeing on me. Straight hoeing on me. They're trying to charge me for repainting the house. As if you don't have to repaint a house every time someone moves out. Like, what kind of fucking 2020 hoe shit is this? Fucking hovid, hovid shit. Anyway. I did start get on. I did start get on. I did get started on fucking King Kong again today. Probably gonna order pizza tonight because fucking goddamn it. It's too hot to even turn the fucking oven on. <sighs> That's pretty much it. I don't know. I gotta compare these fucking shoes. But I think we're gonna wait until tomorrow to do so. Nike versus Adidas 2020. Good morning. It's uh, six. A little after six. This went into the bedroom last night. Worked pretty well for the bedroom. Down here, it doesn't work. I mean, this room's huge. It's not gonna, it's not gonna cool off this whole room. But it's 6 a.m. It's 78 degrees in here. I didn't go on a bike ride today. Cause when I woke up at four, it was 93 degrees. So no bike ride today on the 93 degree morning. I just, dude, I can't. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. It would be fine if I could go on that bike ride and come home and cool off. I really can't even do that efficiently without just jumping in an ice bath. So we're gonna skip it today. And uh, plus we have the exercise bike coming in tonight. So I don't know. Plus I need to exercise my mind. I need to fucking finish Kong. Uh, at least mostly today make some good progress. We made some good progress last night, but we have a lot more Crack open a ZV and get the day started <sighs> Okay, so uh, it might be a little noisy because that AC is running and I'm not turning it off not for you Not for nobody. I'm sorry. It's annoying 
go watch something else. Same old thing, I'm painting all day. Dealing with this heat, the landlord, so, and fighting with landlord. My old landlord's being a total fucking dickhead, like a total dickhead. So I'm fighting with him over his dickheadedness. And my new landlord is actually really cool. I mean, I know some people are like, oh, he should have replaced that AC. I, I agree, but I don't really know what's going on with all the COVID shit. He says that they haven't been able to get an AC that fits back here, which I believe because it's a weird, spot so they haven't been able to do it he's been totally cool he's been like i'll pay for a hotel i'll pay he's gonna help pay the electric bill he's uh because it's insane and he's trying to put in a new he paid for that air conditioner like he's being legit i, I i'm fuck with paul um uh, old landlord who was cool when i lived there is not not being cool at all so we'll see what happens i don't know he's being a dick anyway uh this shoe this shoe this adidas shoe which you know i know we're back on the review game right now and i'll go ahead and say said it earlier the ultra 4d is on the way i got lined up i, I said i went on a rant on it about went on a rant on the podcast tweets in-person conversations i mean i've been talking shit about 4d since 4d came out and i was gonna pass on this i do still think it's incredibly lazy uh people look out for me man like people still fuck with me and try to get me things and sometimes i think people troll me and they just want to see what my opinion is going to be so the 4ds are on the way they're probably going to get here today but that's not what we're talking about i don't foresee myself keeping them though i'm just going to say but this shoe is super comfortable like really comfortable the terex 2 ultra parlay parlay parley parley's which is a great restaurant, partly, Salisbury Steak. The sticker has a fade on the the, the, the zigzags, the stripes on the, the boost. I'm glad they didn't do that fade thing, because that would be whack. Be real quick, super sick. I like stuff all over this. I like a lot of things about this. There are certain things that people will not like about it, but uh, I fuck with it. All the normal things that I would ever say about Boost, it still has. It's really comfortable. Boost is still king for the spring. You know, not the weather spring, but for the spring. This shoe in particular is very boosty. Well, it's not all the way through. I know earlier I said it was all the way through. It's just the bottom, but it does give the illusion that it's all the way through. Strip straps, stripes, strip straps and stripes. So I don't, people, guys, we can't give off-white stripes. You know, like we, like the dude, used black and white stripes and now he owns it like get the fuck out of here son you ever seen a taxi cab you know this has got a taxi cab vibe to it they should be called the taxis which brings me to the fucking color of the shoe which is yellow some people will say orange that is not true you are in fact fucking colorblind which is okay color is made up in our brains this is orange this is yellow some people are gonna say goldenrod goldenrod yellow gold yellow orange gold you wearing orange gold no you are not do, do not size down on this shoe. Uh, there's a lot of features and DNA from other boost shoes in the past. This is very similar to the Free Hiker as well as the Uncaged Ultra Boost as well. Wait, is that even right? I can't remember anymore. It's been so long. Was it the, not the Uncaged. Second iteration of the Uncaged, I believe, was like this. The Free Hiker is sort of like this. It came from some, I don't fucking know, dog. Other sock collars that are just like this and this is really comfortable you do not feel this the padding in the back of the shoe which i talked about was in this shoe so much better in this shoe so much better in this shoe so much better more comfortable hugs your foot it's like a fucking soft pillow motherfucker this shit in the nike is like a, a suede patch with like a barely any like if they were booties this is a fat ass and this is just a gymnastic butt i don't really know what a gymnast butt looks like my my memory of which Adidas models have what is slipping. Predator had this, I think. Fuck, what's it called? They have so many stupid names. Them soccer joints, the, the sock, that's the soccer. Soccer. Uh, uh, like the Ace, 16 or 17. You know, they changed those so much, I don't remember. But one of them had this uh, tongue technology, which is great. Laces, I don't love the fact that it has laces, but you can take these out and wear them, no problem, I think. You definitely don't need them. It might look goofy, but you can do it. Knit upper, obviously, but there's a lot of different knits. There's yellow with gray peppered in. Diagonal stitching here. Makes the, I think makes the upper a little bit tighter. The rubber toe guard makes it a little bit tighter. Just in general, this is a shallow fit. It's tight at a 13, but it's meant to be tight at a 13. Like it's locked down and it's super comfortable at that true size. If you went up a size, I don't know. Like I don't feel like it would be, I feel like it would be floppy. I don't, I don't think that's what you want for this specific shoe. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I just personally think the true size is fine. Um, and I think that's how, how the shoe is designed. Like, it's just designed for a more shallow knit fit that's form-fitting to, again, 
erase the upper and connect you to the bottom of the shoe, which is what this shoe does great. I haven't hiked in them. I don't know if they're actually meant for hiking, but I'll bet you they're fine. It's like a low top free hiker in a way. Uh, it's not as comfortable as a free hiker. I still prefer the free hiker, but this is much more wearable. You can wear it with shorts, which I've been wearing a lot of lately. I know it's crazy. I really, really like this shoe and this colorway. It is yellow. It is not off-white related. The numbers on it have to do with the weight of things. It's a cool shoe. Like, I don't, the branding's not too crazy. The stripes don't bother me too much. They're not, like, overdone. You know, it's good. It's cool. I, I, I like this shoe. It was a good purchase at Half Off, especially. Shout out to the motherfucking plug. Inner faux suede patch that runs all along the side of the shoe. So the only part that you're actually getting like full on skin to knit, nothing in between, is really on the toe and the tongue. But the, the sidewalls are smooth, smooth suede. It's got an insole, all that jazz. But yeah, these are dope. I like this shoe a lot. It's nice, There's, it's an improvement. I, I, people are gonna talk shit and say what they're gonna say, and I think shoes as a whole has really just gone down the shit. People truly, truly, for the most part, have no identity when it comes to any of this shit anymore, which it all started to be different from the norm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Only a few. But if you're comparing Nike to Adidas in 20, these are, you know, in my opinion, the best two models I've tried this year, which they were only probably like out of four. In a while, these are both since all, in a while, these are the best that I've tried. In a while, I like them. But if I'm comparing them both, the Nike seems like it's made from a little bit of cheaper materials for the same roundabout price point, for the exact same price point. A little cheaper material, but it's a little more lounge ready, you know? Like, this is a comfortable, more comfortable lounge shoe that I would equate to a sturdier NMD. So they're different shoes. They both have sock-like collars, but this sock really forms to your foot and doesn't have a bunch of extras. And the tightness comes from technology inside the upper with different knittings, uh, tensions, thicknesses, and directions. This relies more on a lockdown system that is super clever and nice and I like it. I mean, I, li I like both of these shoes, you know, like if I was going to walk all day, this one only because I can wear no-show socks with it and it does not fucking rub my foot whatsoever. This one rubs my foot a little bit, but when, pa when it's pants season, who fucking knows when that's going to be? This, I think will look great with a pair of black joggers, but so will this. They're both great shoes is what I'm trying to say. And in 2020, if you can't find unity, you're just looking to argue. So I take back whatever I said about whoever I said it about other than the fucking Nike SB. Y'all are on my fucking radar now. Cause y'all are excited about Hypercolor SB and a motherfucking bread SB. A bread SB, Br bread and white, white bread, white bread. White bread SB, come on, the bar is on the floor. Anyway. Both these shoes are great. I like them both. If I could only choose one, it's hard to say. I'd probably go with the Adidas. Not that I don't love this shoe. This one looks cool. This one, I think, honestly looks cooler. But it's also solar. And I really look... Dog, I can't make a decision. You can hear me. I like them both. They're both great shoes. I'm glad I got them. I don't think the four... I don't think the four Ds are going to hold up. So that is what we will discover next time. Anyway, I got to edit and I got to get back to painting. So, and the bike bike should arrive any moment now as well as the next drop we have to shoot the drop today as well there's a lot of shit going on all right peace